How's it going, super friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I had the pleasure of being able to open up and review for you a Kenner Superpowers Collection Canadian carded Shazam action figure. I am so, so super stoked. The Superpowers Collection logo up there on the top left is altogether unmistakable and iconic to the action figure line. On the right hand side of the card you have the Shazam logo, the world's mightiest mortal, along with power action, thunder punch, as well as the French. On the right hand side of the package we have that unmistakable and fantastic artwork by Jose Garcia Lopez, and of course the figure comes in a nice pristine little bubble. You will notice that because Shazam is a Wave 3 figure, he does not come with that packed in mini comic. And as you can see here, this Wave 3 Mr. Freeze action figure, which is also mint on card, does not have that mini comic pack in either. While you can see here, just to verify that Wave 2 figures did come with the mini comic. Now the back of the card, first of all, because it's the Canadian version, actually has the French Collection de Super Poissons, which is the French of Superpowers Collection, as well as Shazam's bio being not only in English, but also elongated to be able to fit the French in there as well. You've also got the cool little image up there in the top right showing that when you squeeze Shazam's legs together it activates his power action thunder punch. And you've also got an image with all of the figures right up to number 33 that had been released thus far. Wave 3 being Shazam, Cyborg, Golden Pharaoh, Cyclotron, Orion, Samurai, Mr. Miracle, Plastic Man, Tear, and Mr. Freeze. And slightly further down, we can see the vehicles and playsets which were released at the time. Well, the vehicles released, that being the Batcopter and the Justice Jogger. However, the Tower of Darkness never actually did find its way to a full consumer release. That's unfortunate, because that would have been a really cool playset. Either way, I think we've chatted long enough about the packaging. Let's take them out. Very carefully, might I add. To be honest, I don't usually employ the razor to bubble technique, but for this one and all of the superpowers I'm going to be opening, I'm definitely going to make an exception. Okay, gotta remember to be as careful as I can possibly be. And I think I'm actually going to leave the top of the bubble intact. That way I don't damage anything, and if I really want to, I can slip him back in. Okay, and here we are. The first time this Superpowers Shazam figure, a grail figure of mine, will ever see fresh air and the light of day. You can see how the bubble, the shell that held him in place, has actually suffered from yellowing over time, while the bubble itself has actually remained nice and clear. Let's pull him off. Wow. I am really, really stoked by this figure. I am really excited. Off the bat, before I get into the review, I will tell you that his cape is so crisp and so nice. This is such a joy to finally be able to open. And also, he's, he's just a little bit sticky. He's kind of sticky from being in the package for so long. Oh, that's weird. I've had other superpowers do that. Martian Manhunter was sticky when I took him out of the package. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I'm just going to carefully take his cloak off and take him upstairs and give him a bubble bath and soapy water. I'll be back down in a second. And we're back. And I couldn't be more excited. This is a figure that I chased after as a grail piece for many, many years. And I finally managed to get one. He's out of the card. And he is absolutely fantastic. This is a big day for me as an action figure collector to get a piece that I've wanted since I was probably seven years old. His yellow boots have the little seam lines going up the front and they got the cuffs around the top. His wrist cuffs are perfect. They are what they look like in the comics. He's got that nice big yellow lightning bolt up the front and the cape is attached around his neck by way of this little plastic rope. Let's open up the cape and have a little peek at it unfurl with the yellow fringe around the bottom. You've got the little design work right there. Underneath you can pop the cape collar up like that just like Martian Manhunter. Although it doesn't look as cool with his cape popped up. We're just going to plop it back down like that. Oh, the cape is all crispy because it's brand new. Here's a look at Shazam's Thunder Action Punch. That action is smooth and clean. Oh, there's nothing like opening up a fresh superpowers figure and then using its power action feature. 
Here's a look at Shazam's facey face up close and personal. The last time I saw it in person was in grade two when someone from my class brought his entire superpowers collection to school for show and tell. I was super jealous. Now in latter years, the Wizards champion would receive other action figures based on his likeness with the DC Universe Classics on the left and the DC Direct on the right. And here are two more. We have the DC Direct Alex Ross on one side and the Mezco 112th Collective on the other. We have the DC Collectibles on the left with a Mattel head swapped onto the body, and then we have a DC Collectibles animated universe on the other. I was never a fan of the darkened, dreaded maroon color replacing the red. Never fear though because during the time of Rebirth, Shazam's suit was brought back to a nice, bright, vibrant red color, and that dreaded maroon was washed away. And finally, here's old Shazzy Pants standing next to good old Zack Levi the guy who played him in the recent Shazam movie, and will be reprising his role for Shazam 2. Now, although over the years, people's tastes in action figure articulation and sculpted detail have definitely matured to the more high-end scale, this is certainly an action figure worth owning. It's a piece of superpowers history. It's one of Shazam's first action figures ever. If you're somebody that wants to keep figures mint on card, then this is also going to do nothing but grow in value over the years. So whether you buy them to open, or whether you buy them to keep them mint on card and stick them in a hard shell to display on a shelf as one of your golden fleece prize grail pieces, he's definitely worth the time and effort to save your money and try and get your hands on him. Because I could tell you, I've really, really enjoyed opening this guy up, and I feel like my collection is that much more complete because I got him. Now if I could only get my hands on a mint on card cyborg figure, my life would be complete. Anyway, super friends, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed opening this with you on the channel today. If you enjoyed it, please take the time to leave me a thumbs up. Any comments you have, leave them down in the comments section below. Remember to be nice because this is my figure and I chose to do with it as I pleased. I know that a lot of you may have wanted to keep it mint on card, but I opened it for you with you. I wanted us all to have that experience together. Granted that most people will never have this experience. Hopefully, you can live a little bit vicariously through me and my video. And if it's your first time here and you like what you've seen, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. It won't hurt nobody. Ding the bell so that you get all the notifications for when I put my videos out because that is really going to help me out a lot. And I will see you with the next one. Have a fantastic day, super friends, and take care.